<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. So as you can see, probably from the camera quality, doing a little bit of a different type of video today. I have my videographers here with me today helping me film this video for you all. It's going to be my dream wardrobe tour for today's video. I'm so excited to show you all. This wardrobe is just everything and more that I could have ever dreamed for and I'm so excited to take you guys upstairs and show you. I have put little sneak peeks on my Instagram story, like tiny sneak peeks and you guys went crazy. You were like, show us, show us, show us. So I'm going to show it on my YouTube first, for my YouTube family. This wardrobe journey is even more exciting because as you guys know, the whole process with the house has been a real journey and it's definitely taken a little bit longer than I'd hoped for, which is fine. But to have one room 90% complete, it's not completely finished up there as I'm probably going to show you. Um, I was going to try and like hide the fact that it's not finished, but at the end I'll just show you the bits that need to be finished off um, but it makes it all the more sweeter to ha finally have one room that is has got a carpet in it feels cozy and homely and just warm and I'm just yeah I feel so so grateful and it's actually given me an insight into like how the house is finally gonna feel which I've not had yet and um, from having no furniture but yeah, I'm gonna stop waffling on we'll just take you up there and um, yeah I hope you enjoy this different style of video it probably won't be staying for very long probably back to my normal vlog style soon but yeah let's go and have a look at my new wardrobe to my new wardrobe room. I'm gonna take you guys through. I did want to start at the entrance by the door, but that's currently covered in plastic. And for the builders, it's all covered in like, um, I don't even know what you call it, like tarpaul, is it tarpaulin? Yeah, um, just so it doesn't get dust on it and stuff. But yeah, so we'll start here. This is my wardrobe room. I'm gonna go through in sections, but first I will tell you guys about the design and yeah, how we came up with the vibe of the dressing room. As you can probably see, it's kind of more like a, not old fashioned style, but def definitely with like the coving that we went for, the sort of white detailing. Um, I wanted to do the wardrobe room slightly older fashioned, <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but slightly older fashioned than the ones that I have had before. The ones I've had before have been very simple, gray, modern with like LED lights. And this one, I wanted it to feel like it was really built into the house. So from the roof and stuff, you can see like all the coving details. It feels like it's really like built in and feels part of the house, which I really wanted it to feel like. But as well as with it being old fashioned, we made it really modern and fun with like the accessories and stuff, which I will talk you guys through. So here we have my dressing table area. I was just telling my boys, filming right now that I did order a temporary chair even for today's video because the one that I've had made is not going to be ready obviously until about 2048 so I did order a temporary chair but that didn't come in time either so just you gotta imagine a chair is here um yes yeah, so that will be here eventually but this is going to be obviously my dressing table setup I did actually originally plan to sort of store makeup and hair products here but when the lady that came to help me organize the wardrobe did the setup like this I was like I can't put beauty products there now it needs to stay this way I absolutely love what we've done here so I actually got these these are called cause sculptures they're actually like collectibles and I found them online and I've always wanted to have some and I felt like in the dressing room they just looked super cool and cute even to support the aesthetic vibes I even changed my makeup bag from my clear perspex one to this one here so I can have it out on display and still reach for it every day and stuff and it's super accessible and um, the only thing I will say even though we spent so long designing this dressing room I thought I thought about every single aspect of it the one thing that I wish I had accounted for a little bit more would be to have more storage for my beauty products and hair stuff I really just focused on the clothes and where the clothes would go completely forgetting that most of my job relies on hair stuff and makeup as well so I'm not sure if maybe we're going to add a couple of drawers to this area here or if maybe I'll just store things in the bathroom but that is one thing that if I'm completely honest I wish I had thought about a little bit more now that we've used this space to display things on I don't really have that much storage for my hair and makeup but that's okay that's just me being honest so this section here it doesn't look that cute at the moment but this is going to be like my little cozy corner we're actually having a cushion made just for this area here that will fit perfectly into that spot this is a fact that you guys probably won't know but this 
bedroom, if you remember from things you saw before, it actually was two windows. So this window here is also behind this part of the wardrobe here but I had originally planned to cover this up as well and have this as wardrobe space but I just felt like with absolutely no natural light in this room it might feel a little bit claustrophobic and a little bit stuffy so we decided to keep one of the windows exposed and from the outside I was also worried about how it would look with having the window covered up that you literally can't tell at all it just looks like the shutter is shut which is absolutely fine so Probably my most exciting part, well, yeah, one of the most exciting parts of this wardrobe is this little gym section that me and my interior designer came up with. I had seen loads of things like this on Pinterest and especially from Khloe Kardashian's wardrobe. If you know, this was kind of inspired by her. I saw how she had her gym leggings and her sports bras displayed. This is super different to how she had it, but that definitely inspired me. And I was like, how unreal would it be to have my gym stuff all laid out so I can see it? Then when Tommy came in the other day and saw this dressing room for the first time, he was like, I love how you have a whole section dedicated to gym clothes when you don't even go to the gym. And I was like, that's actually very true. At the moment, I'm not going to the gym, but it's for the future, future plans, you know, and it looks cute as well. So here I have all of my sports leggings um, all displayed. They are color coordinated, um, but yeah, I've got loads of different brands in there. Then I have my sports bras that are all um, laid out here. I was a little bit worried when we first put one on the hanger that it wasn't gonna be tall enough, but it was just about tall enough, so that was really, really great. Then I have some more colored, when I say colored, it's not colored, but <laughs> more different colors of sports bras up here too. I will show you guys into some of the drawers as well. Some of them are super cute, some of them are not that interesting. I love in the winter wearing gym jackets that zip up. I especially love the Gymshark ones, the Lululemon ones. So yeah, I've got my long sleeve zip ups that are perfect for winter and then also my little tops here that I can wear in the gym as well. I know some of you as well will probably be saying, what is the point in having such a nice pair of trainers displayed so high up? Well, to be honest guys, I never wear those trainers. I don't know what I thought when I was buying those trainers. When I bought them, I sent a picture of them to my sister Zoe and she was like, you do know that they're like for professional athletes and runners that literally run marathons in three hours and I was like no Zoe I did not know that so yeah ever since buying them I've not really reached for them that much because I feel like they're far too pro for me and I feel like a bit of an idiot when I wear them in the gym and people look at me thinking she knows what she's doing and then they see me on the treadmill and I'm dying yeah moving on to my <laughs> next section of leggings as you can see I have a lot of leggings I live in leggings this section is for my leggings that I can wear to the gym and these leggings I can't wear to the gym so brands like Adenola and more casual brands I'm gonna only think about Anola but yeah these leggings are more for just like day to day so like a pair of leggings I've got on now you can't wear these to the gym because I wouldn't really want to sweat in these uh, but then I also wouldn't want to wear a pair of these gym leggings day to day so these are my casual leggings um we've got them color coordinated again and then we also have in the drawers the matching tops that go with some of the leggings as well as you can see everything is labeled and I wish I could say that was done by me but I had an amazing helper who was here the last three days I'm gonna leave her details down below she was absolutely incredible she helped me out so much and really I owe a lot of why this wardrobe looks the way it does to her because she's just amazing so I'll leave her details down below but she did the little labels for me and stuff and made this wardrobe room look just exactly how I wanted it and as well yeah, we have t-shirts here these are just like casual t-shirts you guys know I love my baggy t-shirts I wear them pretty much every single day through winter through summer so yeah have a massive collection of them they also run over to here um i've got some designer ones some non-designer ones all mixed in so yeah that's my t-shirt collection so here is my little step or stool or yeah little stairs whatever you want to call it the first thing i noticed when i came into my dressing room was how high the rails were me and my interior designer we really did think like i said about every aspect of the room but i didn't realize that the rails were actually quite high and i'm only five foot five so me reaching up it's it's a little bit tricky so yeah we bought this stool and the videographers holding the cameras right now thought that this was, I don't know, did you think it was like part of the building work or something? <laughs> so they moved it out of the way. But actually, it is part of the room. The only thing that's annoying is it has silver hardware when everything else is gold. So I'm going to blame that on the reason as to why you two thought it wasn't part of the room. But um, yeah, this is just really great to obviously just like be able to reach things a little bit easier. And you can get things down. To be fair, I can reach without, but it's just it's just easier to have it there just in case I need it. So I'm just gonna skim past this section here because I'm not a massive shorts lover. As you guys know, I don't really wear shorts that often. But I have a few pairs of cycling shorts hung up here, mixed in with some gym ones as well. Then a section that I absolutely love, which I probably wouldn't have thought to have done because I'm not majorly into my swimwear, but I do have a lot of bikinis. So the girl that helped me out, Carla, with my wardrobe, she came with these really cool um bags to keep my bikinis in. So when I do go on holiday with Tommy or I have trips 
lips or whatever, I can just literally skim through the bikinis so easily and pick out the ones. And then I can even put them in my suitcase in the bags, which keeps it really super organized. So I absolutely love that little touch. Then underneath, we have swimsuits. So same again in the little plastic bags, nicely displayed. I would never have thought to have displayed my swimwear like that. And I feel like bikinis can get so messy and tangled. And I feel like a bikini drawer never ever looks aesthetic, but somehow she made it look aesthetic. So that was really, really great. So obviously, as you guys know, one of my favorite things to wear ever is a blazer. I'm blazer obsessed. And here in the main section of my wardrobe, I have some of my favorite blazers that I reach for most days displayed. We actually did have my colorful blazers out here because we were going for quite a colorful theme with the wardrobe. But realistically, I reached for my dark and more tonal blazers day to day. So we swapped them back. And yeah, I have them displayed here. Then underneath, I have this really, really cute um, book stand with this little Vogue book on. I was actually just telling the boys as well that with this book stand, it took me about an hour to put it together when it's literally just two pieces of plastic that slot in. I just couldn't work it out. I was sat there like it was literally blowing my mind. It was like a Jenga puzzle. But I managed to work it out in the end. And then I just have a little candle here from Diptyque and a little bear brick. It's either brick bear or bear brick, I can't remember. But um, I love collecting these. So I've just like, got a little one displayed there as well. My blazer collection then extends into this section here. Um, obviously we couldn't fit them all on one rail. So just to skim over the other sections of this main part, I have smaller tops in there. I also got this really cool pill. Um, you're either gonna love it or you hate it. I think it's from a designer called Jonathan Adler. I got it on Farfetch. I actually saw my friend Mama Mitchell have one on his coffee table and I really, really liked it. So I copied him. And then yeah, I've got small tops there, shirts in there, and then I had dresses in there. But as you guys know, I'm not really a dress kind of gal. So I've only got a few dresses displayed in there. So here, these are the most aesthetically displayed drawers. And I'm not gonna talk about this one too much because I don't wanna embarrass the boys as they both have girlfriends and they're gonna feel really awkward about this drawer. But I do wanna show you guys anyway. I just absolutely die over this drawer because it literally looks like I have my own Victoria's Secret store, which for any girl you know is an absolute dream. So yeah, my girl really helped me display that beautifully. And then in here, you guys know I'm obsessed with my pajamas. So in here I have all my pajamas laid out and this actually goes through two drawers because I'm just pajama obsessed. And these ones I actually wore last night and I was trying to fold them up the exact same way that Carla did it and I just couldn't do it. So I'm not really sure how I plan to keep the wardrobe looking this way but that's a topic for another day and through vlogs I will keep you updated as to how I find trying to keep the wardrobe looking this beautiful okay so this is probably one of my favorite parts of the wardrobe I'll just let the boys pan out a little bit so you guys can see the colors I'm just obsessed with how the colors throw <laughs> throw flow through this part of the wardrobe is what I meant to say. So as you can see in this section, we have my more colorful hoodies accompanied with some lovely cat hair on, as you can see. A lint roller is something that is very close to my heart now with having a white kitten. Bread's not too bad because he's got brown fur, but Eggie's fur, literally you touch him once and you literally look like a snowman. So yeah, if you do see hair over some of the stuff, I promise it is clean. It's just literally when you have a kitten, it's just inevitable. So yeah, as you can see, I have a massive hoodie obsession, probably after blazers, my obsession is hoodies. Hoodies that you can put under blazers, even better when you can wear them together. So yeah, this is my hoodie and trouser section. So I've got my more colorful hoodies here with my black ones. I've got my gray hoodies. I never realized how many gray hoodies and tracksuits I owned before this. Um, slightly concerning, maybe I should get rid of some of those. Um, and then in here we have my nude hoodies and jumpers as well. So this here is my jeans section. This was maybe triple, if not quadruple the size of this before I had a huge clear out. Before we put everything into this room, I literally donated so much stuff to charity shop. It was obscene. Like I had maybe 20 bin bags full of clothes that I just didn't need anymore. I'd say 50% of that was probably made up of jeans. I don't really wear jeans that often. So I just thought I don't need that many. So the jeans I have here, I actually do wear. I have a couple of pairs of dark jeans then some blue jeans and then my lighter jeans, which are good for summer. Then in here, I actually have, if you've seen these, you're probably thinking what on earth is that? This is from Diptyque. I think it's actually maybe just like a, it's not a, it might be a bar of soap. I don't know. I think these are actually specifically designed to keep your clothes smelling nice. Again, Carla, the girl that helped me do my wardrobe, she told me I needed these and I'm so happy that she did because the room smells a joke and um, yeah, these are just going to keep my clothes really, really fresh. So if you love your clothes smelling nice, maybe have a look at those because they're really, really special. You guys know as well, I absolutely live in joggers. I don't know why this drawer is quite small with my joggers because I thought I had a much bigger collection than this, but basically any joggers that match the hoodies, they're tucked inside the hoodie. So when I reach for the jumper, the joggers are tucked inside. The majority of the joggers I have, they have a matching jumper. So that's why my joggers section doesn't look 
very, very big in here, but I have some night joggers here um, in that drawer. And then in this drawer, I have little basics. So I have my go-to Zara bodysuits. I also picked up some bodysuits from Skims. If you love the Zara bodysuits, have a look at the Skims ones because they're the exact same, but the quality is just unbelievable. So yeah, absolutely love those. So just keep my little basics in there. Then in this last drawer, this is where I've had to do my overspill of hair products. So because I don't have that much storage over there anymore because I've displayed things instead, we've used one of these drawers that we were gonna use for my clothes as just um, a bit of a hair styling drawer, which looks neat in the moment, but with all those wires, I'm telling you now, that's gonna be an absolute mess in about a week's time. So for the next part of my wardrobe, this is actually one of my my favorite parts and um, so it looks like a mirror a nice full-length mirror so when I put my outfits on I can see well not only is it a mirror when you press on the door we have my perfume display. Now, my perfume display was not my idea. I cannot take credit for it. Again, this was my interior designer, Sally's idea. She said that because um, of this section here with this sticky out bit, we had a little bit of room to create a cupboard. And she was like, it's not gonna be a particularly wide cupboard. You won't be able to put like big tubs of moisturizer in there or anything, but what you could put in there is perfume. And as you guys know, I have a massive love for perfume. Uh, my perfume collection did whittle down after what happened to our last apartment with the horrible incident. So I've been slowly building it back up and it's actually been really fun because I've got to like try loads of different new smells and I've also had recommendations from you guys to tell me which ones you love so yeah comment down below your favorite perfumes and I'm gonna check them out because I just I really want to fill this cabinet completely up with just loads of different perfumes I'm just trying to think of any of my favorites that I can tell you about I don't know how you pronounce this one this one's from Louis Vuitton I think it's Le Sable I'm not even gonna try to say it but it's it's this one here this is my current favorite perfume I got it at the airport when we went to where did we go I think to LA and oh my gosh it's just absolutely dreamy probably more of a winter smell but I love like deep oody strong smells all throughout the year but this is a really really beautiful one then here we actually have another full length mirror this was going to be the only full length mirror that I was going to have this wasn't even going to be here this is just like a little a bonus one but I'm so glad that we did this one because it's much easier to just come from this section and look in here than it is to come round here but I'm really happy that I've got two then here this was actually just something that I had downstairs it's one of my I still don't know if it's bare brick or Brick bed, you guys know. No. Do. Okay, well, whatever it is. I say I collect them when I don't even know what they're called. But yeah, I've got one of him that he's displayed here. He was downstairs. I don't know if I'm going to keep him there, but I just actually, I know what I'm going to put there. I'm going to put a laundry basket there because that's going to encourage me to keep this room nice and tidy. Otherwise, my dirty laundry is going to end up on the floor. And that's not what we're going for in this room. So yeah, I'm going to replace him with a laundry basket, I think. Very boring. So I'm now going to talk you through my shoe section. I've done this room back to front because to be honest, this is the part of the room, as you can probably see from a few things, that it's not completely finished even here for example you can see where the carpet joins the tile there's no sort of like divider or strip there's going to be a nice um, brass strip that goes there and then here there's a nice big handprint on the wall thank you builders for that to be fair it probably wasn't even the builders I don't even know who that was it could even have been me but I don't really know if my hand matches up to that but yeah this wall has not been painted yet the builder said they're going to leave that until this room's completely finished which it is now they knew that we'd bring in like rails in here and like clothes and we didn't want to like bash into the wall if it was freshly painted so now this is all done they can paint over this and here I really wanted to get this done for today but unfortunately it didn't happen I have these big frames on order which I've actually had my cosmopolitan cover blown up and popped into one then my book cover popped into one then a really cool PLT pick that's really really special to me as well put into another one so they're going to be displayed down here as like a little um gallery which I really am really excited for so yeah whilst I'm talking through my shoe section if you can see like orange like looks like a tent just ignore it there's wire sticking out this is the part that isn't really finished because that through there is our master ensuite bathroom which I am so excited to show you guys maybe I'll get the boys back to do a few more tours of different parts of the house but yeah I'll talk you through my shoe section and just ignore anything you can see down there that doesn't look that cute there was an Evian bottle there as well which Harry failed to tell me was there so we're gonna move that now sorry guys okay so here we have my shoe section I actually don't have that many heels again I keep talking about her but when my girl Carla was here helping me do my wardrobe she kept saying you actually don't have that many heels do you and unfortunately I did have lots of pairs of heels but um, after again the situation that happened back at the old apartment I didn't have a lot of heels anymore and I'm slowly building it back up but at the same time I don't really wear heels that much so I'm not just gonna buy heels that sit nice on a shelf and I don't wear I've got a white pair a black pair a 
coloured pair and a nude pair. So really, for me, that's all I need in terms of heels for how little I actually wear them these days. We then have my little bag collection up there, which again is not extensive anymore, but I'm very happy with that. Again, I'm so much happier now investing in my house and getting things to make the house look beautiful for Tommy and I, rather than spending it on bags and shoes and things. So really this section is not that big. And then we have boots here. We have, these are some of my favourite boots. These are from Louis Vuitton. These I think were limited edition. Um, I have them the matching trainers to them as well, but I just absolutely love those boots so much. And then we also have taller boots down here as well. So I have my Givenchy boots here, which caused quite a stir when I wore them. But when I, I wear them quite a bit actually on my Instagram and people either love them or they hate them. A lot of people say that they look like Tin Man shoes, but I absolutely love them. I think they're really cool. I've also got them in nude. So yeah, sorry if you're a hater of these boots. This is actually the section of my wardrobe when you walk through the door that you see first. So I love the way this looks. I have some other bags displayed here. This bag, it has a really special place in my heart because it's actually a bag that Fran bought me for my, I think it was my 22nd birthday. And I use it all the time. I literally reach for it. Most times I'm leaving in like a more dressy outfit. Then I have my sliders here. I don't know why, but this side it looks like I've actually thrown up on it. I haven't. I don't know what the hell that is, but that needs to actually be clean. That's disgusting. Sorry about that. These sliders here, Maura actually bought these for me again for, this was for my last birthday, my 23rd birthday. They are so beautiful. I just absolutely love them. So they're out on display. And I have my Bottega slides here that my friend Anushka bought me for my birthday. And then down here, we have um, my beach bag display. This, I think in the next few weeks, I'll probably switch out because obviously the colder months are coming. Thank you, Jesus, because you guys know I'm not really a summer gal, even though I do love the summer, but I'm just more of a more of a pumpkin spice latte, October, Halloween, Christmas kind of girl. So yeah, I'm gonna swap these out soon. And I think probably just put some trainers down there or some other bags or something. So yeah, this is my shoe display um, and my bag display. Again, it's not extensive. I don't have a huge collection, but yeah, I really love the way this looks. So yeah, this is my wardrobe room. I really hope you guys have enjoyed having a little look around. Um, I'm so, so, so lucky to have this room. I've had four wardrobe rooms now. This is my fourth and it's by far my most special and favourite because we're going to be here in this house for a really, really long time. So I wanted to make this one super special. But yeah, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed seeing it. I know I don't really need to do a disclaimer because a lot of you will understand, but I just want to also say this is not me in any way showing off. I just know you guys really wanted to see this room because you absolutely loved my last wardrobe video that I did in the old apartment. So I just wanted to show you guys again and you got really excited when I showed you on my Instagram the little sneak peeks. So yeah, this is my dream wardrobe wardrobe room and I want to say our forever home who knows if it's going to be our forever home but you guys are going to be seeing so much of this room in my vlogs to come and I'll show you like even little other bits I've not shown today like in more detail and stuff through the months to come with all my vlogs coming up and stuff so yeah guys I really really hope you enjoyed this video if you made it to the end then I love you millions and hopefully I will see you all in my next one bye guys